Number 58. Sodium nitrite, which has been used to preserve bacon and other meats, is an ionic compound. Write the resonance forms of the nitrite ion, which is NO2 minus. Okay, so looks like we just uh, breaking down NO2 minus and doing its resonance structures or its resonance forms. Now we've done uh, about three questions with resonance, so if you want a more in-depth explanation, go back to those, but the most important thing you got to remember is that resonance always comes from Lewis structures. So if you guys feel that you're not strong in your Lewis structures, that's okay. Just go back to questions, I think, 40 through 45 of this chapter. I'm there along with you guys, and I'm sure that by the end of those, you'll be able to come back at number 58 and figure out what NO2 minus Lewis structure is. So I'm going to assume that we know how to do Lewis structures. If you want, you could pause the video and try to do it yourself before I reveal the answer, right? But nitrogen NO2 minus should be a nitrogen in the middle surrounded by two oxygens. Um, I will, I guess I'll just put them over here. We'll, we'll kink them, right? Because that's the real geometry. We're getting into geometry next, I think. So one of the NO bonds will have a double bond. The other one will have a single bond. And now you will fill in your lone pairs. This has two electrons, one pair. This has two electrons, and this one should have three pairs. And you can always just double check because the total number of valence electrons that are in the compound should equal what you drew here. So for NO2, you have nitrogen and you have oxygen. You have one nitrogen and two oxygens. Each nitrogen has five valence. Each oxygen has six valence electrons. So one times five for nitrogen is five. One times six for oxygen is 12. That gives me a total of 17, but there's a plus, well, there's a minus one charge, which means that you gained one electron. So you have to plus one. So you have a total of 18 valence electrons. So now if I go back to my Drawing over here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and we are good to go. So now since there's a negative charge, I have to bracket this off and put the negative up top before I start my next resonance structure, right? But now what is my, my next resonance structure? Well, it's just redistributing your electrons to make sure that the octet rule is still intact, but you just have a different representation. So in this case, I had my nitrogen with my double bond on the left side and my single bond on the right side. But could I have easily just swapped these? Yeah, right? I could have easily taken this and put it over here, and I could have easily taken this and put it over here, all because it's the same element. So you just gotta play fair. So in the next structure, I will just have the double bond on this side and the single bond on this side. That's all. Now, if you want to see what's actually happening on the actual electron level, what's actually happening is two electrons from here are going to be shared between the nitrogen and the oxygen. And if you're sharing, that turns into one bond. That's how you get the double bond on the right side. But now nitrogen has two, four, six, eight, ten electrons, and nitrogen cannot have the expanded octet. So that's why the one bond from the left side will turn into a lone pair. I'm just going to erase this just to show you. And they will go solely to the oxygen. And now this oxygen still has the octet, two, four, six, eight, and this nitrogen has two four, six, eight, and it's happy. So that's actually what's happening when you are talking about actually redistributing the electrons. So we'll just write that on the other side. So I have O, N, and O. I'm gonna draw the single bond on this side, the double bond on this side. This still has the lone pair. Now this one has the three pairs like we discussed earlier, and this one now only has the two pairs. I'm just going to, I don't know why I didn't, those are there. And that's it. Bracket it off. Negative one charge. 
And that's it. Now, you might say, you know, maybe there could have been two double bonds. Sometimes that happens, right? But remember, nitrogen cannot have an expanded octet. So if I just added the double bond here and I removed these two electrons, technically we would still have 18, but nitrogen would have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And nitrogen cannot have the expanded octet because nitrogen is not below period 2 on the periodic table. Only elements that are below period 2. This is period 2. Nitrogen is in period 2. So unfortunately, that cannot work. So I'm just going to erase that. So for this, nitrite only has two resonance forms. And that just means that actually they flip-flop. So nitrite will exist like this for some time. And then I'll flip-flop to this. And then I'll go back and forth and back and forth until the end of eternity. <laughs> but yeah, or until, you know, a, a, a chemical reaction happens. But we talk about that, I think, in chapter six. But anyway, 58 is done. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Click that subscribe button. Stay safe out there. It is pandemic time still. And yeah, have an awesome day. Study hard. Do well in your exams. Let me know. And see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.